I know. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, yet another DAC configuration or architecture, and that is the multiplying DAC, uh, often referred to as the MDAC. Now, notice that uh, the MDAC also has a, uh, a reference signal. It has a digital input word, and it has an analog output signal. The difference between the MDAC and all the other DACs we have studied, the main difference is that in all the previous cases, the reference voltage was um, a steady voltage. It was just a constant voltage, uh, which sometimes represented the full scale voltage or uh, some multiple of it. In the case of the MDAC, the reference voltage is also an input signal and it can vary. Um, and the idea is that the output voltage is going to be proportional to the product of that reference uh, input signal and my digital input. And so, again, the main uh, particularity is that the reference is it's also a signal. It can vary. Uh, that can be best seen as illustrated in an example. So, as an example, uh, let's consider a digitally operated volume control. And let's imagine that we have a 4-bit uh, a system, a 4-bit DAC, and uh, our um, uh, reference signal, our signal in VREF, is going to be an audio signal, which can range from 0 to 10 volts. And the idea is that we want to be able to control uh, the volume of that signal, but basically um, making the full scale equal to 10 volts for maximum volume or making the full scale uh, bring it to a smaller uh, range for lower control. So first of all, uh, notice that the, uh, the LSV size, I'm going to calculate my one LSV in this case, is as always my full scale voltage divided by 2 to the n. My full scale voltage in this case is equal to 10. And my number of uh, bits is equal to 4. So 10 divided by 2 to the 4 is equal to 0.625 volts. And so that means that uh, for every change, uh, for every step in my digital input word, I will have uh, an increase in overall amplitude uh, of 0.625 volts. So, for example, if my digital word uh, is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, then my output voltage obviously will just be equal to 0 volts, and so I will have no volume. If my digital input word is equal to 0, 0, 0, 1, which is essentially equal to 1, digital 1, my output voltage is going to vary uh, from 0 to... Um, to one LSB, which is 0.625 volts. If my digital input signal was equal to 1000, which is a digital 8, then my output signal is going to vary from 0 to 8 times the LSB size, uh, which is equal to 5 volts. So that's my mid range. And finally, when my digital word is 1111, uh, which is essentially equal to 15 in digital, uh, in digital form, my V out is going to vary from 0 to 15 times 0.625 volts, which is going to be my uh, full scale range, my true full scale range, uh, meaning 10 volts minus 1 LSB, which is 9.375. So this is how it will operate. Basically, my reference uh, signal is going to, um, to give me the maximum volume range. And then my output voltage is basically going to be um, my reference signal adjusted according to the value of my digital input. And so I will get uh, more volume the larger the number in my digital input and less volume the smaller the number in my digital input.